Hello peeps, what's up? We are here to solve another problem from lead code. This title is smallest string starting from leaf. It's given the root binary tree, each node has a value 0 to 25 representing characters uh, from A to Z. And we need to find out the smallest lexicographically string that can be formed during in the path from leaf to node leaf to the root of that tree okay so there we can have multiple paths if there are more than one leaf node in our tree and we need to find out the lexico lexicographically smallest string let's see this example one here we can have four paths a b d a b e a c d and a c but we need to take we need to consider the reverse of these strings like the path should start from leaf and end at the root and at the root so the four strings four paths which can be made in this tree are dba eba dca and eca and among those four strings the lexicographically smallest smallest string is dba so the output is dba and let's see this example three there are only two possible paths from leaf to root and uh, those are a b c c and a b c and among those a b c is the smallest one so the output is a b c so let's uh, let me first explain what our approach or what my approach is yep to solve this problem i used depth first search let's try it yeah first of all i'm maintaining a global answer which let's call it answer itself and in which i'm storing the lexico graphically smaller string which i have found up till this point and i will i will initialize to some string which is greater than z because the z comes at the end of our string alphabets if we are considering only lowercase alphabets so what we would be doing we will start a traversal from the root and we will keep adding the characters which we find during our traversal and when we have reached to the leaf node then we will compare the string which has been made till this point to the global answer and if that string is lexicographically smaller than the global answer then we will update our global answer otherwise we will not update it as our answer is smaller than the current path which have just found let's dry run that our code or our approach in this case so we will call our dfs on the root which is a here so we will be using we will be maintaining a running string which is the path path so we are storing the path over dfs so at this point our string is just a and then we move to b so our string becomes a b then we go to a b d here it becomes a b d and as we need to consider path from d uh, leaf to root what we will be doing we will just reverse it the reverse would be d b a then we will compare this d b a to our global answer that is z and we found uh, we see that it is lesser, it is lexicographically smaller than Z, so we'll just update our answer to DBA. And then we move to B as we are doing DFS, and we will uh, remove uh, D from our running answer. So we are just have AB at this point. We go to E, now our running string is AB. We take the reverse, which is EBA but it is not lexico lexicographically smaller than dba so we will not update it now we will move to a and then we will go to c now our string is ac then d now we have acd reverses dca but again we see it is not lexicographically smaller than our global answer so we do not update it we go up to c we go back to c again then to e then ace we take the reverse which is ACA and still it is not lexicographically smaller than 
the answer dbh was not updated so our final answer here is dba this is the smallest lexicography substring which can be made in the path from leaf to root answer is dba okay so we are using depth for search and we uh, all we are able to do all the processing in one dfs traversal so the time complexity would be o of n where n is the number of nodes in our binary tree let's see the code now Yeah, this is the global answer which we are maintaining and initially we have initialized to it a z plus 1 which is basically a character opening curly braces it has a higher uh, sky value than z which is 123 and then we call our main sole function on the root of our binary tree initially we have the running answer as null because we have not added any characters to it but this is the main function this is the running answer what we are doing first of all we are checking if it's a leaf uh, or not if it's a leaf now we need to compare our the string formed to the global answer first of all we will add the character present at the leaf we will just reverse it and see if the path formed the current path formed is obviously it's not empty and it's uh, it is lexicographically lesser than the global answer which we are maintaining that is result then we'll just update result to running and the end we are reversing our string the running answer and returning as we are using uh, pass by value I think even we do not need to reverse it the second time we'll see if it uh, gives us any errors and if it is not the leaf then we should proceed our we should proceed with our dfs call we do not need to match our string because we would be only matching the running path the final path formed with the global answer when we are at the leaf so if we have passed the if string it means it is not a leaf it is a known leaf node this point we will uh, append the character present at that node and see if it has a left child we call the function on its left child and if, if it has a right child we call it on the right child so we are sure it will traverse uh, over to all the leaves present on the subtree of the left child of root and similarly here it we are sure it will traverse to the leaf nodes of all the leaf nodes all the leaf nodes of subtree present at the right of this root so yeah let's see uh, as i've commented this line let's see if it's still working or not yeah it works let's see if anything if if time changes if i uh, uncomment it Oh, it becomes even faster. Okay, whatever that. And one more thing which uh, needs to which needs to be observed is suppose we have m paths from root to leaf. So basically, if we have m leaves, so at, uh, we would be com having m comparisons. That is with the global answers. Because every time we are at the leaf, we are comparing it with the global answer. So if there are m leaf nodes, we would be comparing things m times. So that's all for this video i hope you learned something from it and if you like our videos please like and subscribe and yeah see you in the next video take care sayonara